Hey folks, hello and welcome to another Divi tutorial by the team at Divi Engine. My name's Roby, and today we're going to be taking a look at the primary menu bar and how we can make this get in touch button a little bit more interesting by changing it to a beautiful button that kind of expands on hover. This is going to grab your visitors attention and get them to do what you want them to do. So let's get right to it. Okay, so to get us going here, what we need to do is make sure that a few things are in place before we get started. We're going to want to make sure that we head over to Appearance and then Menus. Now what we're checking here is we want to add that call to action text and link for that button we'll be creating. So I'm going to be adding a get in touch button, but you might be changing it to something like subscribe to newsletter. It could be anything that you really want to drive your visitors towards. Now for my get in touch button, I'm going to be adding a custom link here. I'm going to set the URL to contact for my contact form. And then I'll just say get in touch and add that to the menu. Now you'll see it's added here in the bottom and I can go ahead and want to make sure this is assigned as the primary menu. I'll save that. And then I'll just come over here and refresh the front end really quick and show you what we see that we've got it to get in touch. So we want to be able to hook into the actual um, menu item to be able to add code, some CSS that will change that plain text into a button. And the way that we do that is we need to go to screen options up here and check this box that says CSS classes. And then we can close that again. Now what that does is it adds the CSS classes box down there. Now maybe you've got yours activated already, but um, you know for those of you that don't, if you don't see CSS classes when you expand your custom link like this, that's how you go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna add a class called de-menu-call to action. Now this class name could be anything, but this is the one that works with our code and it allows that CSS to hook into this specific menu item. So it's not getting applied to all of them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that right now. And then, you know, just for posterity, let's go to the front end and refresh again. And we'll see nothing has changed. And by the way, if you like this layout uh, that I created here with for our Divi Machine plugin, we do have a tutorial that'll be linked in the description for you to check out on how to create awesome uh, layouts like this for um, your Divi Machine custom post types. But um, just to get back to it, go back to the back end here. So now we've got the setup ready. That was super quick and easy to do. Um, and next up, in the next step, we're gonna be adding the code. Okay, so adding the code is very easy to do. We can do it right here from the Divi theme option. So in the back end of our site, we're gonna go back to Divi and then theme options. And what we'll do is we'll scroll down to the custom CSS area right here. Now linked in the description of this video is a link to the blog post that contains all the code that we use right here. So I'm gonna click over to that post. And then when I scroll down, you're in adding the CSS code section, we see all this code right here. So let's talk a second just quickly about what this code does. Here we see that we're setting this uh, call to action button styles and the very first line, and it's commented out throughout um, so that you know exactly what, what does and where you can make some changes. We set our text code to white and then we change our background color to that green color that we had that we saw earlier. We can change the font size and then we can also change the border radius here. Um, I set it to 50, so it's got that nice round shape similar to this one that you see up here. Um, and it just looks nice and feels good on the site, but maybe your design language you know, requires a square and then all you do is either you delete the line or you make it zero. Um, you can do some other fun things here. Um, as far as doing a text transform, we set ours to two uppercase, but you can just delete that line if you don't want that. And then also we're making sure that the hover styles only apply to desktop size screens because on a mobile device, you, you can't really hover. So it, it's kind of pointless CSS to inject there. Um, if you wanted to change the things, it doesn't hover. You can change the color again for the text and for the background. We're changing it to that purple color over here. And then, you know, just something fun to add. We added a scale of 10% to this so that on hover, it does that nice little pop out effect and it just kind of looks nice. 
Um, you don't really need to worry about these other CSS lines here. They just kind of fix the layout um, because when you put a button in there, it takes up more real estate and sometimes it whacks out, you know, the alignment of different things. So that's why we did that that way. So let me go ahead and copy all of this and let's see if I can select it correctly the first time. There we go. I'll copy and then I'll go back to my theme options here. I'm going to paste that right in there, making sure everything is good. And yeah, also you see the DE menu call to action CTA class that we created. So we're going to save that. And then we'll head back to the front end here. And let's refresh. And as simple as that, we've got our button in our menu. And you can see how that draws the attention to the user. And by adding this animation, you just kind of like deepen the experience and, and the design language of the page. So it's a very cool way, a very easy way to go ahead and change things. Now, in your Divi menu, if we go back here to our menus, you can put that button anywhere. If you wanted it at the beginning, you just drag it up, you save it. And then if we go back here, you'll see that it's at the beginning. So it really depends on how you want to do it and how you want to utilize this. There's a few different ways to, to use it. And, um, you know, it, it's, again, we want to drive our users to do certain actions. And, and you know, maybe that's to see a store, sign up for a newsletter. Yeah, it's to get in touch with a contact form. Maybe you want them to request a quote. Up to you. Depends on what your site requirements are. But it's a really cool way to just engage them a little bit more and drive them towards, you know, a desired result. Um, yeah, and that's it. Now, if you further wanted to deepen the experience and, and the intention grabbing if aspect of this button, um, we did write a great article on adding some attention grabbing effects to your site. So we'll link in the description of this video, this blog article um, and tutorial where you can add these different uh, attention grabbing um, elements to the button. Now, the first two don't really make sense, but the bottom one, this button wobble effect, You'll find if you just scroll down, you've got it right here, just with a little bit of CSS, adding that DE wobble class to that same button, you can achieve this effect as well. So it's just another way to deepen the experience. So there you have it, folks. And that's it for today's tutorial. Guys, I hope you found this helpful and how to add a call to action button to your Divi menu, just with a few lines of CSS. It wasn't even 10 minutes to do. Definitely let us know what you think about the tutorial in the comments of this video. If you have any questions, and even if you just want to show off your work, we'd love to see it. So with that, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.